Hi everyone, it's Michael Pryor here from PB Advisory Group. I thought I'd show you today how to um, complete your BAS return um, using Xero software. Before we get to your BAS return, there's two reports or two pieces of information that you'll need, need to obtain. First is from your balance sheet. So if you go reports, balance sheet, make sure that then that the date is corresponds to the last day of the quarter and in my case I'm looking at the December 2014 quarter and just go update once that's done scroll down and you'll see here PAYG withholdings payable and the amount is 3014 just record that amount um, to the side and uh, we'll use that in a second the second report you need to look at is your PL report so reports profit and loss go to compare periods look at December 2014 again and you want to compare it with the previous two periods and update it before I update it if you do your accounts on a cash basis you'll need to click on more options and click on cash basis there but as these accounts are done in accrual basis um, I'm going to ignore that so just update and you'll see that um, here's the report and you need to find out the figure for wages and salaries and you see here that it's $13,400 if you just note that as well um, and now we go to reports the activity statement and we want the activity statement for the period first the thing if you go to business activity statement report first you put in the dates 1st of October 2014 to 31st of December 2014 and you'll see that your total sales are already here yeah your capital purchases and your non-capital purchases are there you've got your GST on sales and your GST on purchases the only figures you need to complete is your total salary wages and other payments at W1 so you just type in 13400 and the amount withheld from payments at W1 is 3014 remember I got that figure from the balance sheet before so that's it there you have all the tabs you need to complete for your BAS and IAES uh, for the December quarter so thank you for listening and watching uh, it's Michael Pryor from PB Advisory Group Goodbye.